everybody. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Lynn, and I want to ask y'all a couple of questions this morning. When and and you can be honest because nobody else is listening, all right? <laughs> so, because this does happen to me, do you ever kind of when um, you get to the part where we read the scripture passage, you kind of go? Yes. You ever do that? <laughs> you ever do that? Yeah. yeah. Me too. <laughs> me too. I do. But uh, but you can make yourself pay attention, right? Okay. So today I want to talk a little bit about the scripture passage because today I want you to hear it really well because it's got some cool things in it. Let me ask you another question. Where does God live? <laughs> Where do you think God lives? Where? Or walking in the creek, or been hiking and thinking, man, seeing a sunset? Yeah? And could God be in all that too? Everywhere. He said everywhere, right? Okay, so um, how about in a statue? You think God could be in a statue? I mean, kind of weird to figure out how God might be in a statue, right? Would God, so if, if, if uh, there's a story in the Bible in the Old Testament about um, them building a, um, the people building a, a big golden cow. Yeah, you heard that one before? You think God was in there? No. God, God probably wasn't in, in that film. Right? Okay, so um, sometimes when we think of those silly kinds of things, this is what it says in the, in the Bible scripture, in the scripture today. God has overlooked the times of human ignorance. What is ignorance? It wouldn't be the opposite of ignorance. Hmm? Could smart be the opposite of ignorance? Could smart be the opposite of ignorance? So, so sometimes God overlooks that we're, we're not very smart. And um, there's this really cool phrase in there that, oh yes, huh? Um, in earth. In the earth. the earth, yes, God would be in the earth too. The whole world in this, right in here where we, where we walk, and l listen to this, how it says it in here. This is a really cool phrase, and I hope you hear it the rest of your life. In God we live and move and have our being. In God we live and move and have our being. All right, if you had to put a motion to in, to live, in God we live. What would that motion be? What could it be? In earth. In the earth. Okay, how about arms out like that? That would be that would be good. And move. That song we just sang a few minutes ago, don't y'all love that one? Uh -huh. the boat, that last two songs we sang. Actually, all the songs today. We'll get back to that in just a second. And have our being. That's kind of a weird phrase, isn't it? And in God we live and move and have our being. Your being would be everything, right? Everything. When you said every God is everything, everywhere, all the time. It's cool, isn't it? All right, so, so we can forget the gold and the silver gods things, right? And we can focus on God being in our living and moving in everything we do. So today, also, in, listen, in addition to listen to the scripture, I want you to listen to the hymns. Listen to the hymns. So what was our first hymn we, we sang? Well, that's the congregation. What was our first hymn we sang? Immortal, Immortal invisible. invisible. Immortal means, but not dead. Do you know that? Immortal, invisible. God only wise. There's some cool words today in church, okay? I want us to, get to pay attention to some of the words that happen today. And what I want you to do when you leave here is on any time. How about this? At the end of the day, with your parents, whoever's at your house tonight, ask them, where did they see God? Mm -hmm. A good one? You ask them and see what they say. And then see if you can think about the, the answer to your question, too. 
But ask your, ask your parents at the end of the day, hey, Grandma, where did you see God? I'm interested to hear what they say, Lauren. <laughs> All right, let's pray together. I'd like you to repeat after me. Dear God, dear God, dear God you are awesome. You are awesome. And sometimes we don't pay attention to that. Sometimes we don't pay attention to that. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. That we live. That we live and move and, move and, and have our being and have our being in you. In you. And all God's people say. Amen. Amen.